Hey there guys, it's Metro, and today I want to give you my thoughts on the big changes they made to the Blood DK talent tree. I looked at this on the live stream. Uh, unfortunately, the internet went out, so I was unable to continue streaming, but I figured I might as well make this video because this is a very interesting topic. And yeah, we'll see, uh, you know, lots changing for Blood DK over the last three builds or four builds. So love to hear your guys' thoughts on this. Another one that I really love to hear your thoughts on this. So in terms of the changes, uh, they basically added one new talent. We'll start with that. Um, oh, also, before I forget, they also nerfed Vengeance, <laughs> which is like a buff to blood <laughs> because of how the game works nowadays. It's actually a, a buff to blood. I don't exactly know what they changed, but apparently they made it. So um, Sigils, the, the, the Sigil CC ones, like the, the Silence one and all that, they don't double Sigil anymore. So that's a nerf to bu a buff to blood, I guess, in some way. But anyway, what they actually changed was this talent. This is from my video from last week, if you didn't see it. And you haven't been following this discussion. I've been making a weekly video on my thoughts on Blood DK. Uh, so this is this week's now. So you're kind of four weeks behind at this point. If you haven't been following, I'm not going to be going over stuff that I've already gone over. So like you talked about like consumption and stuff like multiple times now. I'm not going to be going over it again, really. So. But anyway, uh, so this was not yet implemented. Uh, New York Institute is how they say it for some reason. And then, uh, yeah, Bloodied Blade is the new replacement for that. Pairing attack grants you a charge of Bloodied Blade, increasing your strength by up to 4% for 15 seconds. Um, so I don't know if they're, you know, it says right now 500 millisecond cooldown. I don't know exactly what that means. Presumably that means like you can only like parry and get a buff from it every 500 milliseconds. What is that, half half a second? I don't, I don't understand that conversion thing. But yeah, you guys let me know on that. But realistically, you're going to get 4% every single time you have Dancing Rune Weapon up. And probably like fully, like it's going to be up the whole time. Um, but that is eight full stacks to get to that point. And then at eight stacks... Your next parry consumes all charges to unleash a hard strike at 200% effectiveness and increases your strength by 10% for 6 seconds. So you'll never actually be at 4%, I guess. Is that how it works? Because you, you know, 8 times 0.5 is 4. So you'll never actually have 4%. You'll go from 3.5 to 10%. And that lasts only for 6 seconds. Which is a strange design, right? Like, would you rather 4% the whole time? I was like, then what? Once it, once you have the 10% buff, can you get the 0.5% buff again as well? I don't know how this works, but honestly, on paper, I don't like this talent at all. Now, in the past, though, this is a very similar thing. I think it was even called something like this. But in the, uh, I think it was the Shadowlands set bonus, you would just get free heart strikes randomly. And those are powerful. They do a lot of damage at the time. But they also synergize with a lot of talents. And some of those changes, some of those talents are going to be discussed right now. Okay. Um, so that's a powerful talent. It sounds like it's going to be powerful numerically. And it's probably going to be very good offensively. Defensively, I do not like random runic power gains. I feel like I overcap as too much as it is. Um, so this, I think this is mostly just you'll get value from the strength. Maybe get value from the hard strike defensively but realistically this is going to be purely offensive uh, and i don't like that in that spot especially that's not a talent i would have liked to see especially right next to consumption and tombstone like what what happened why are we not getting an active talent there that seems strange um so anyway uh now they also made crazy changes to position of gorfine's grasp this is again this is the last build so you can't tell what we're looking at here this is what the talent tree looks like now and this is what it looked like last build the biggest change they made is moving rune tap from right here over to here. This does make part of the tree easier to navigate, but I don't plan on ever taking rune tap, uh, at least right now. Maybe I will change my mind, but there's too many buttons as it is. I don't know that I can use it one way or the other. Um, and then they moved Gorfians from here to here. And this may not seem like a huge change at first, but I'm going to show you why it's a massive, massive change and frankly, a bad decision in my eyes. So uh, this is the build I had on the beta and I was very, very satisfied with. And I don't want to deviate from it at all if I could avoid it. So we're going to try to replicate that build right now. All right, I'm going to show you guys what you would have to do here. Obviously, we're taking two points in a, uh, improved vampiric blood. These things aren't going anywhere. Um, 
Dancing Room Weapon, these are like absolutely not going anywhere for me. Under no circumstances am I taking other talents. Um, now we're getting into stuff that's like a little bit more optional, but you know, we have over here armor gain from Bone Show by 10%, and it can stack two additional times. It seems like that's pretty much mandatory. I mean, that sounds insanely good. Fall Bulwark is one that I, in the last time we talked about it, I said was, you know, feeling like it's a little optional. Because I didn't think we were going to have a lot of access to high Bone Shield with all the changes. But if you're not taking Bone Storm, it, you pretty much are capped, like, 24-7. 20, like, because you're going to be gripping stuff along the way, provided we're taking that talent. That's a whole different discussion. I'm probably not going to be talking about that in this video. But we'll just leave those for now. Like, we'll we'll, we'll come back to this. Um, So we have 17 points now. So we need three more points. So what can we do? How about these three? Okay. So we have those three now. Now we're on to the final layer. Um, and so we're just going to try to replicate our build exactly as it was. And we'll be able to do that. Consumption. Then we take Tombstone. We definitely need Purgatory. And that's it. So that's our same build. But now, unfortunately, without any additional changes to the talent tree, like I'm not taking a new talent, right? Like what's changed here? Fall Bulwark is no longer takeable. Improved Bone Shields is now like, this one's out, like 100%. This is completely out. But like, I haven't changed the talents I'm prioritizing. It's just, not, they're just now in a spot where I'm forced to take Heartbreaker. Do you see? So in order to take Gorfiends and Titan and Grasp, I'm forced to take Heartbreaker. Now, if you're going to take Heartbreaker, which is a very good talent, and it was overpowered as hell from Legion until they made this talent tree in Dragonflight. I didn't use it once in Dragonflight, and I don't want to use it because I don't feel like I need the extra runic power anymore. Those days are past. Okay, you're constantly capped now. There's also this talent, Improved Heart Strike, by the way. This is only a one talent point now, right? Oh, no, it's still two. Still two, actually. Another one that I would never think about taking myself. But yes, anyway, we accidentally undid the talent points. So. But so you can already see the problem here. In order to get what well, looks like it's going to be one of the strongest spells in the kit you have to go out of your way to get it. And this is worse. This is a downgrade in my eyes. Um, they said they wanted it to be more optional, but this is a bad idea. I don't know why you would put it here. Like, I, there's not really any other places to put it because they try to make it look good, right? Do you see what they've done here? It's symmetrical, right? And you see there was gaps here before. So they put this here. This was here. They just moved it. It has, like, effectively no change. Like, it actually doesn't change where it's... Like, you see this? It's the same three... All the talents still connect to it in the same way. It's just been moved for visual reasons. Like, that's the only reason it's been moved, right? And then the big change is they move Reinforced Bones down here and Moon Tap over there. And then they moved Gorfiend's Grass in a spot that's just worse. That's the only real changes they made. But because of that, we are now forced to take a talent we don't want to get it. There's nothing else that leads into it. It's either Heartbreaker or Leeching Strike. Now, I don't know if you can make Fall Bulwark. Like, I don't know how this works. But I think because Heartbreaker goes this way, you cannot make Fall Bulwark also go this way. But if I can't take Fall Bulwark, if I, that can't happen, then that means Fall Bulwark's completely out. Like, we, we can't use it. Because in order to take it and this, which I really, like, don't want to say, is, like, I feel like we need to take Titan and Grasp and Gorfiends. And Fall Bulwark seems so good right now. So in order to not take that, it means we have to completely change our path. And this may be a good idea. So I'm going to talk to you about what my updated thoughts are on this right now. So these talent points, people have looked at as um, relatively weak. I like them because of uh, Umbilicus Eternus and the playstyle in general. Having more power with certain these, certain these things are quite nice. Uh, Sanguine Ground, I really like actually to make uh, Death and Decay feel really valuable. Enemies afflicted by Blood Plague take 5% increased damage from you, and Death Strike increases the damage of your Blood Plague. So together, all three of these synergize heavily into Umbilicus Eternus, okay? This is just a fantasy of mine, whether or not it makes that big of an impact on my playstyle, I don't really know. But I really like these three talents. Now, if you remember, we looked at it on this video that is still in the background. My top damage was Blood Plague. So these three things still seem extremely valuable, okay? So enemies affected by Blood Plague take 5% increased damage from you. That does not necessarily mean that it's... Like, this is not the craziest talent. But I think because if it's stacking up the Blood Plague damage on top of everything else that's now doing that, 
you can't not take this, right? But, you know, at best, you can drop Sanguine Ground. That does seem like a good drop. And then take these talents still. And if you want to take Bloody Blade, because now you have the situation where Bloody Blade is actually getting synergy from Heartbreaker. You know what I mean? So now it's a more valuable talent, potentially. But you could also potentially drop Coagulopathy and take Fall Borg. Like, I think this is a better defensive. Like, this is now an offensive spell. Like, let's be serious. This is basically now an offensive spell. So now you have to weigh, like, this spell that is both defensive and offensive versus Fall Borg, which is purely a 12% health increase. It does nothing for you offensively. So those are my thoughts on that. I, I hate this change. I really don't know why they did this. Um, but I, I guess they did warn us they were doing it. Uh, do you guys like Gorfiends here? What are your thoughts on the talent tree? And what do you think you would build? And what do you think of Bloodied Blade? And also, what do you think about the Vengeance changes? Let me know what you guys think about all that stuff. Uh, we'll be back. I, I'm probably just going to stream tomorrow now. I said I was originally not going to stream tomorrow. But since I wasn't able to stream the full day today, I guess I will stream tomorrow. So thanks for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are. We'll see you guys in the next one.